tyrannosaurs are some of the most iconic, recognisable animals that have ever existed on this planet, and it's very exciting whenever a new species belonging to this group is discovered. Well, recently exactly that happened, and this new member has allowed us some valuable insight into the early evolution of the great tyrannosaurid clade. Not only that, but it claims possibly the most ridiculously awesome name of any dinosaur, being called Dynamoterra Dynasties. Or Dynasts, I don't really know. The name originates from the Greek word for power, dynamis, as well as the Latin word terra. The species name is also Latin, dynasties, which means ruler. Therefore, the English translation is stated by the authors as meaning powerful terror ruler, which is a pretty suitable name for this beast. It's also a nice reference to Dynamosaurus Imperiosus, a previous name for T-Rex, which was apparently a childhood favourite of the lead author. Alright, so what's so significant about this new member of the Tyrannosaurid group? Well, for one, it isn't actually new at all. It's very, very old. Much older than the most famous animal included in this family, Tyrannosaurus rex. Whereas T. rex lived from 68 to 66 million years ago in the Maastrichtian, the very end stage of the Cretaceous period, Dynamo Terra was uncovered in rocks of the Lower Campanian stage. This puts the animal at around 78 million years old, and it's therefore been very useful in revealing how this iconic group of dinosaurs was evolving in its earlier years. D. Dynasties was a decently large creature when it was alive, even for a tyrannosaur, reaching a length of approximately 9 meters or 30 feet. This makes it a medium-sized tyrannosaurid, and the holotype specimen, which is thought to be a sub-adult or adult individual, is about 80% of the size of an adult T-Rex. Just to clarify some things first, we should quickly have a look at how the Tyrannosaur evolutionary tree is structured, so we can actually see where Dynamoterra has been found to belong. First, there's Tyrannosauroidea. This is the superfamily that includes everything you might call a Tyrannosaur. Within this large grouping are many other families and genera, but for our purposes right now all you have to know is that Tyrannosauroidea also includes a smaller family known as Tyrannosauridae. Tyrannosauridae can be further split into two subfamilies, the Albertosaurines and the Tyrannosaurines. The Albertosaurines contain just Albertosaurus and Gorgosaurus, but within the Tyrannosaurines are quite a few different species, including T. rex. So where does Dynamoterra fit in all this? The study that described the animal has found it to be nested within the Tyrannosaurines, so it's a pretty close relative to Tyrannosaurus. D. Dynasties was actually first discovered back in 2012, being unearthed from a formation in New Mexico, and the fossil remains themselves consist of skull bones, fragmentary vertebrae, bones from the hands and feet, and a hip fragment. Not exactly the most complete dinosaur skeleton that's ever been found, but nevertheless an important discovery. Along with another Tyrannosaurine named Lythronax, which is around 80 million years old, Dynamoterra is one of the oldest Tyrannosaurines from North America. In addition, its exact geographical location is important to note. Dynamoterra and Lythronax are currently the only known Tyrannosaurids from their time to be found in southern Laramidia. During the Cretaceous, North America was separated into two continents by a large body of water known as the Western Interior Seaway. To the east was the continent of Appalachia, and in the west was Laramidia. Sadly though, there seems to be some sort of preservation bias against Tyrannosaurids of Lower Campanian age in northern Laramidia rocks, such as those in Montana and Alberta, and as a result early Tyrannosaurids are not well known from the north of the ancient continent. This is why Dynamoterra has been so important. Along with Lythronax, it's allowed paleontologists to see how Tyrannosaurids were evolving early in their history in North America. The older age of D dynasties also hints that fairly derived Tyrannosaurids had evolved earlier than we used to think, and that these animals likely underwent an evolutionary diversification sometime before Dynamoterra appeared. To summarise, this new species has provided some much needed information on early Tyrannosaurids, such as what some of them actually looked like, and revealed that they were more diverse than we realised. It's also clear that new discoveries of more Tyrannosaurid fossils from earlier stages of Cretaceous North America are needed in order to shed light on just how exactly this remarkable group came to be the fearsome predators at the end of the Mesozoic that everyone knows and loves. Also, Dynamoterra Dynasties is an incredibly cool name. Well, it's been a very Tyrannosaur-themed week for this channel, hopefully you don't mind. 
we'll probably talk about some fish next to make up for it. Thank you for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you would like to find out more about our world, its history, and the wonderful life that surrounds us all, please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you think we deserve it, and if you would like to see more from us.